This week's Ask Dr. Dury comes from a patient who wants to know about a new medication called Izatuximab that he's heard about. And so this is a, a, a new agent, and uh, we have been hearing more about it here recently. And it is a, a monoclonal antibody, and it's very uh, similar to another monoclonal antibody that we've he heard a lot about for several years now, and this is called daratumumab. And so both isatuximab and daratumumab are two monoclonal antibodies which work against something called CD38, which is an antigen on the surface of the myeloma cells. And so what this means is that you have these two types of monoclonal antibodies which uh, can be active as a form of treatment against the myeloma. And so uh, what, what is the status of the ex uh, isatuximab? Well, uh, the daratumumab uh, you've heard a lot about in the last few years, and this has been evaluated and tested uh, throughout the course of the myeloma and is actually approved by the FDA, not just in relapse refractory disease, but in earlier relapse and in combinations uh, to be used in the, in the frontline setting. And so uh, this is uh, very well along in, in the myeloma research field and uh, to, the, to the extent that it is FDA approved and, av and uh, available. Isatuximab, on the other hand, is in a variety of trials and most recently has been in a very important trial called the Ikaria trial, Ikaria. And this is a trial in which Isatuximab combined with pomalidomide and dexamethasone has been compared with the doublet of pomalidomide dexamethasone. And this combination has been uh, evaluated and shown uh, to, to be uh, very beneficial uh, in, in the comparison of the three drug combo with Isatuximab versus the pomalidomide dex. And so at the recent ASH meeting held in December, there were several important updates in the data uh, with this particular combination. It was studied in patients who were more elderly and the results were good. Uh, there were evaluations of quality of life and uh, these were uh, quite promising, uh, showing improvement in uh, bone pain and other features of the disease. There was uh, an evaluation of the uh, ongoing uh, uh, benefit and the depth of the response, and uh, deep responses uh, did occur more frequently with the three-drug combination versus the doublet, as you might imagine. Another uh, study was presented which showed that using mass spectrometry, the monoclonal antibody can be picked up in the blood. And so this is very important in patients who have a deep response where uh, you don't want to confuse the spike, the monoclonal spike with the, with the medication with the monoclonal spike uh, related to the myeloma. And so it turns out that for both daratumumab and isatuximab, mass spectrometry can be helpful to make sure that the residual uh, spike is just the drug and not any uh, remaining disease in patients who have had uh, a deep response. And so the bottom line here is that isatuximab is an important uh, new monoclonal antibody uh, similar to daratumumab, and most likely it will become available uh, following review by the FDA this year. And so there is an expectation that the three drug combination isatuximab, pomalidomide, and dexamethasone will, will indeed get FDA approval, and hopefully uh, later this year it will be uh, available and, and can be used uh, in, uh, in this relapse setting.